Welcome back. Joining me now is retired U.S. Army four-star General Wesley Clark, the former Supreme Allied Commander of NATO. General Clark, thank you for being with us. Uh, this is the first time that Iran has attacked on Israeli soil that we know of. Uh, and as part of the response, the U.S. intercepted dozens and dozens and dozens of drones and some missiles. Does all of this put U.S. forces in the region at greater risk? I don't think this specifically puts U.S. forces at greater risk. But I do think it's a break point in terms of how the Middle East is going to evolve in the future. <clears throat> Israel has always had escalation dominance over the region. So Iran has never attacked before directly into Israel. Now they have. Israel, from Israel's perspective, are they going to be able to reestablish escalation dominance? Can they do it without striking into Iran? Is it possible for Israel to do what President Biden has said is basically, hey, we got all your stuff taken care of. Uh, that was a win for us. Don't do it again and let it go. It, it, there's so many questions and nuances of this. It's really hard to say where this is going. As of now, I don't see an increased risk to U.S. forces, but it all depends on how it evolves. Did we kind of get a look here at the future of, of war? Um, we saw things that were worked on, uh, the Russians have been using in Ukraine with all of this drone attack, sort of the uh, low-tech, high-tech mixture. Uh, is, is this a foretaste of the, of the future of war, what we saw last night? Well, the drones certainly uh, were put in there to complicate the situation, but apparently they were all shot down before they ever made it to Israel. They are an easy target. Now, if you can overwhelm, if you've got drones that are stealthy, if you've got drones that um, can can divert in route to attack those that are attacking them, uh, it, it, it's the next level of sophistication. But the big thing here was the anti-missile defense. Israel's worked on this for a long time. We've seen the Iron Dome work, but what we saw here is arrow work and, uh, and maybe other systems, maybe Patriot system working because they fired 150 ballistic missiles. 10 years ago, 20 years ago, that would not have been stoppable. Now it apparently is. So there's huge advance in missile defense here. If Ukraine uh, had these kinds of assets, it would be a different situation in Ukraine, but they don't have this support yet. Uh, so help us just think about how Iran might be thinking about this. Um, it, some people think this is Iran was just trying to, to show a little force so that they didn't have to get into a larger conflagration. But at the same time, I can't imagine they would have gone to all this trouble just to whiff. Uh, what it, as, as we think about this, how do you think about this? I think Iran probably figured that um, <clears throat> they would not be totally effective but they would have done enough to appease the hardliners. Iran's got enormous domestic problems. Their economy's collapsing. They're under tremendous pressure. Uh, the mullahs who were in charge felt like they had to do something to maintain the credibility with their own population. But, but here's the thing. We know they're close to nuclear weapons. We know they're enriching the uranium. Some people say they already have a couple, maybe half a dozen of nuclear devices. Others say, well, almost. When that happens and when an Iran announces it, the escalation dominance is probably off the table in the region because Israel is very, very vulnerable as a very small country to nuclear threats, even with this great anti-missile capacity that they demonstrated last night. So um, we're, if we're not in this new domain right now, we soon will be. And when Israel responds, they have to consider this. They probably will respond, probably have to, but is the era of the ability to dominate your neighbors completely militarily, is it over? There's trouble in Hamas, there's trouble in South Lebanon, and uh, then you've got Iran directly engaging. So can this be resolved by uh, a burst, an overpowering Israeli response, and everybody backs off and says, okay, okay, not yet, we can't handle Israel yet. <clears throat> Let's go back under the in the foxholes. Let's wait another five years and hope. Or are we in a different domain? 
And uh, this is, these are all the issues that are being played out right now. Everybody's thinking about them. The Israelis are, the Americans are. The Iranians figure that uh, they can absorb the hit. They probably dispersed their highly enriched uranium already. They probably have the nuclear capacity so deep underground. They don't feel that the, uh, the, that the Israelis without American support can get at it. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.